No, I'm sitting in a field because I wanted to talk a little bit about the horses I have. Because I have two mini ponies and I have one uh, gypsy pup and they live together with a donkey. And the donkey is a rescue donkey and I made a video about her so if you want to know her story please check out this video. But I will not talk too much about her in this video because this is for the horses. Also for Coco. As you can see she likes to get the attention fully so I will give it to her. Uh, I have two mini ponies, Coco and in the background you can see Oreo. Uh, they are both Appaloosa. You can see it on her butt area and with Oreo it's very clear. Um, they're both uh, four years old now. Oh, well, actually three and a half. They turn four this year. And I have them since they were one year old. And uh, before I got them, they lived in a, a very big hearth with all uh, uh, mini horses the same age. So they got here, they were actually completely wild. They were not handled uh, by humans before, never walked with, never got a halter on, uh, nothing. So I got them together. They are not sisters, but they uh, grew up together because they lived in the same hearth. Yeah, they're, they're very, very funny. I love them. I don't use them for anything, actually. I can teach them tricks and such things, but it's not like uh, I'm, I'm doing any work with them or anything. They're just uh, here as company. And uh, uh, because I love watching them and just being around them, playing with them, they're, uh, they're great company just uh, to have around. And then we have the gypsy cop, the Irish cop. She is uh, five years old and I got her, I wouldn't say I rescued her because I bought her like I would buy any other horse but her previous owner had uh, uh, some very big problems with her neighbors and uh, she was forced to, uh, um, yeah, to, to leave all her horses uh, and move and she had uh, a few days to fix this problem. She had four, four horses uh, and I was looking for one. So when I heard her story, she, uh, yeah, it was very painful for her. She cried while talking to me and she cried when I, uh, I looked at the horses. And uh, yeah, she really didn't want it, but she was forced to. There was no other way. So I was like, well, let me take her because when I take her, she will stay with me for the rest of her life. Because when I, uh, I take in an animal, I'll keep them. Um, I'm not going to sell them. Uh, of course, you could always, something can always happen, uh, like with her. I'm sure she didn't want to sell her either, but uh, she was forced to. But where I live, I don't have any neighbors complaining about anything. Um, there's nobody close by. And I know I can, uh, I can keep her. I, uh, I financially uh, have a stable situation. So uh, I, I know something strange may happen, but she can stay here for the rest of her life. So that's, um, that made her previous owner very happy because she just wanted she didn't want her to move around a lot and go from owner to different owner to different owner being sold multiple times maybe end up somewhere you never know um, so she was uh, uh, I, I have her since two years so she was three years old when I got her she didn't know anything she was also just living with the other horses in the field uh, not being uh, handled often um, and she is well, I'm training her right now, so I can handle her, she has a halter on, I can do whatever I like with her. Uh, she's just not ridden yet. So I can put a saddle on her, she, she's fine with everything. Um, I just uh, did not take the step to uh, sit on her yet. So that's where we are in training right now, but I'm taking it slow. She's not here because uh, I want to ride her like every day or something. Uh, I also have a lot of other things to do, so she's mostly here because uh, I would uh, I would like a horse for to ride in the future. And her story, uh, yeah, it, it made me sad for the owner. So I just wanted her to have a, a peace of mind. And uh, um, yeah, I could easily take her in. She goes very well with my uh, mini horses. They go great together. Also with the donkey. Uh, they're extremely stable herd together and uh, they're, they're big friends, so that's great. Uh, so they get to uh, enjoy this life together and I get to uh, enjoy watching them and uh, cleaning up after them, but that's fine because uh, yeah, I've loved horses since I was a very, very young girl. And also 
right now just watching them sitting here um, hearing them eat around me yeah it's uh, it's amazing so I'm very very happy with uh, with how they're doing